Football has seen so many footballers follow the steps of their fathers. From Tim Weah to Leroy Sandy, you can name them all. Even here in Ghana, we have the Ayu brothers following the footsteps of their father, who is the legendary Abedi Pele. Today, we are at the Magdan Latown Park to speak to the former Ghana international son, who is Jacob Kingston. I guess you know his father by now, that's Lai Kingston. Well, my name is Joseph Adam Matthew, and we are going for a break. When we return, we'll delve into the discussion. Welcome from the break. So my guest is Jacob Kingston, the son of former Ghana international Lai Kingston. Charlie, welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Man. Yeah, how have you been? Good, with Charlie. Everything cool from the side. Yeah, yeah. So how many weeks have you been with um, Accra Great Olympics? Oh, it's been uh, like two months with them. And so far, uh, like, it's really good. I've been signing and I'm enjoying a couple of friends before the second uh, leg of the season starts. So I'm hoping to get some games in the season. So tell me, have you been registered in the squad for the Ghana Premier League? Yeah, I've been registered. Oh, okay. Kindly tell us something small about yourself when you say Jacob Kingston. Who are you? Well, I'm just a simple guy trying to do my best at uh, whatever I want to do. So, yeah, that's me. I always give my 100% in everything I do. So, yeah. So what, what position do you play? I'm a uh, forward. Okay. Why do you, you follow the footsteps of uh, who was on the flanks? Doing this thing on the wings. Yeah, sometimes I play from like as a forward. I can play from the right side, the left side, or through the middle. But then I prefer playing from the left side. I have a different style to my dad, so I don't try and follow everything he does. But then I take the advice he gives me. Which which kind of advice does he sometimes give you? The the thing he always says is always whatever you're doing, always give you hundred percent. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it at all. So just give hundred percent and then do whatever you want to do. When it comes to people who have mentored you. Uh, or who you shape your football life across. Which player comes to mind? Is he only your father or do you have one? No, not really, because growing up, I had my dad's friends around me as well. So I play football with Steven Apia, Muntari, the Red So like along the line, I get from my dad, I pick from Steven Apia, I pick from Muntari as well. So yeah, it's, it's a good thing. I have them in front of me. Has he always been football growing up? Like, you yeah, never... since I was a kid, I've always wanted to play. Even when I was in Scotland, I was going to school, but then I was in the school football team and then I also had a club team I played for. So it was sports activities throughout. I always wanted to play. You know? So you never grew up in Ghana? Yeah, I grew up a little like outside and then I came to Ghana as well. So this is like the Ghana part, but then I also grew up outside. How will you uh, describe playing abroad and playing in Ghana? Well, Ghana is really tough because you know everybody is out to make it. So, but then outside it's a bit more fluid and like um, we have more um, opportunities and stuff. But then I would say it's also good to start in Ghana because through Ghana, like I've also learned to be like strong and then to be hard. How was it like playing for your father at King Step FC? Oh, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Like you know, playing for your dad is. It's difficult because he knows like you best, so he knows what you can do. So when you don't give 100%, he can see it. And then in that turn, it turns like in his anger into you because he, he always wants to see you succeed. Every father wants to see that son go up. So it's more difficult playing under my um, father. But what are some of the punishments sometimes he gives you? I, <laughs> when you sometimes uh, miss an opportunity? No hard punishment really, just I'm, I'm not talking to you. Like he can go days without talking to me, and that's that's more difficult for me because you know I always like want his love around me. I always want him around me. So him not talking to me knows that's punishment enough. So we learned that you came to Great Olympics and you guys had trials before coming here. You think your father's influence brought you here, or it was through your hard work? No, I would say it's basically just me because I didn't come here with him. I, I told him that I wanted to come here by myself. I don't. I didn't want his influence. I want to play by merit, not by favor. I would rather play by my own hard work. If I'm not good enough, then that's it. I'm not good enough. But then I, I wouldn't want him to influence anyone to let me play. But have you heard people talking such ill things about you because, like, your father is a footballer? Well, you know, human beings like human beings talk. You can't take that away from them. That's their opinion. But the thing is that opinions don't matter. It's what I know and what they don't know, so 
that's me. So we've seen other players go through the national ranks and stuff. Do you sometimes wish that you play at the Ukrans, maybe the Black uh, Satellite and the Black Starlet or maybe the Black Meteors? Yeah, of course I did, but then I didn't get the opportunity to do so because I was in school and stuff and then um, my dad also takes school here, so he wanted me to like be ready before I tackle football because he knows the football world best. He has, he has played to the professional level, so he didn't want me to risk everything for football and then in the end maybe I wouldn't get anything out of it. But like I said, now I'm here and I'm working hard to get what I want. So if it happens that I get to play for Black Stars, that's fine. The Ghana Premier League is not an easy task at all. Are you ready for it? Yeah, it's not easy, but then, yeah, I want to play, so definitely I'll fight for my position and I'm, fight, I'm here to stay, so I'm going to try my best and then work hard at it. Are defenders here very hard, at, hard on you? Yeah, like, this is Ghana. Everyone is hard, like, everyone is hard. Even attackers are hard, so, yeah, we're all hard. <laughs> all right, so we are going for a break. When we come back, we continue with the discussion here on Sports Check on Ghana Web TV. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. All right, so we are still here on Ghana Web TV. I'm here with Jacob Kingston. So Jacob, are you the only son of your father who plays football? Um, I have a little brother coming up, but he's in school right now, so I don't know um, about that yet. But then they're all good, they all, they all play. But it's not serious. Why didn't you join Accra How to Folk and Accra? But my, um, my grandfather played for Olympics, and my dad as well, and my uncle Richard. So I think he is the best place for me. We've seen players deciding to play outside. You said you spent some time in Scotland. Why didn't you um, decide to play for the Scottish national team and you came here to Ghana? Well, I was quite young when I was there and um, my dad, like, it was, actually it was my mom. She didn't want to leave me behind because, you know, we're a family. Like, I'm very close to my family, so there's no leaving anyone behind. And I was quite young back then, so I'm sure now it would be a different story, but then I was quite young back then, so I didn't get Chance to are you a lefty or righty? Um, I'm a right footer. Well, what, are, what are your best chances on the pitch? Where do you like to play on the pitch? I like to play uh, from the left side, um, attacking, left side attacking. So I'm cutting and then whipping, yeah. You see some of your father's traits and you do sometimes watch his clips and stuff? Yeah, I, I watch him like all the time. Like even now when he plays, I'm always like um, surprised because he's, he's that good. So yeah. Like he's my role model, so I look up to him. Most of the things I know is because of him. Practice, practice, practice. Where do you want to play your football up to? Like, someone wants to play up to Champions League, World Cup, win the AFCON and stuff. Obvi obviously, I want to play to the highest level of football. That's why, like, everyone wants to get to the top. So I also want to get to the top. So it's, it's good. All right. Yeah. So how long have you known Rodney up here? Yeah, I've known him since we were kids. We've been playing together since we were kids, but I'm slightly older than him, so oh. well, I've known him since we were kids. Yeah, okay. So you guys have been playing? Yeah, for, yeah, for some time now. Mm. At Kingstep? Yeah, at Kingstep, I've been playing together. What, 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 what division is your father's play? Um, second division. So we are playing the second division? Yeah. Was it tough? Well, actually, we've not actually played a league game, but then, yeah, it's tough. But the premiership is tougher, so yeah. Okay, tell me, where do you want to play your football up to and which club do you want to play for? 
Um, I want to play football to the highest level. And then, actually, I want to play for um, Arsenal. Arsenal FC. Yeah. But my dream team is Real Madrid. So. But I want to play for Arsenal in England. Champions, win the Champions League or... Champions League, everything. World yes. Cup, everything. Arsenal, Arsenal is really suffering. I don't remember the last time they won the league. Yeah, but then I love, I love Arsenal, so... <laughs> I see that, I see that, I see that. Um, before we go, kindly tell me, uh, with the Premier League, you've seen Hearts of Folk and Asati Kotoko. Those are big matches and Great Olympics managed to win all those games in the first leg. Are you ready for that battle? Yeah, I'm good. I'm ready for that. We have a good coach with us, so... And he's helping me improve on my skills, always giving me confidence and stuff that I can play. So, yeah, we are a good side. A lot of young boys who have heart and want to play. So, obviously, football is not by name or anything. It's what happens on the field. So, we'll see. You yeah, are not scared of hearts of folk? And... No, I'm not scared of anything. Yeah. Finally, before we go, how have your uh, colleagues treated you in camp so far? You... Yeah, it's good. Like I said, we are a family. Uh, everyone is like, family. Most of the boys, I already knew them before I came, so yeah, the, the ones you already helped me um, come into the game and then they, they give me confidence, so yeah, it's good. I, I mean, it's a good transition. Mm. Great Olympics wants to win the league. Is it something that is feasible? Can they achieve that target? Yeah, as you can see on the table, we are second, so yeah, anything is possible. Like I said, it's football. Anything can happen. You don't judge by the name of the team, but it's about how you play, so we are playing good football now, and everyone can see, you can show on the table, so it's good. Are you going to maintain the afro? You are going to do your looks like your father? Well, with me, I change, I change my style all the time, so today I can decide to cut everything off, so it's good. Well, nice one, nice one. Nice meeting you. So my guest has been Jacob Kingston, who is the son of former Ghana international, Lai Kingston. That's where we draw the curtains for today's edition of Sports Check. My name is Joseph Adamafi.